The familiar proverb goes that there are just two things sure throughout everyday life, demise and expenses. Passing is unavoidable, and whenever you're gone, you're gone, however there are one million unique approaches to send our friends and family into the incredible past. Burial service parlors may not be top of the vast majority's arrangements of most agreeable spots to hang out yet they are a fundamental piece of the finish of life measure, giving a period and spot to our last farewells. These memorial service homes are probably the most uncommon we've run over. For pets. For what reason should people be the main animals to be respected by a legitimate farewell? Samsara Eternity Crematory in Soines, Belgium, concurs. Customers at Samsara can have a commemoration administration where their darling pets are encircled by ornamental textures and delicate lighting. The individuals who would prefer not to have their textured companions incinerated may pick entombment in a close by pet graveyard or decide to have their best buddies stuffed via prepared taxidermists to interminably keep them at their lord's sides. The administrations are masterminded by animatrons, began in 1995 by author Patrick Penville. Penville says his organization claims it is the first of its sort in the nation and presents it as an option in contrast to nitty-gritty removal of pet remaining parts. Irish Pub When the keep going call lights enter a bar, it's typically an ideal opportunity to settle your tab, discover your satchel and advance toward the exit. In any case, last call at McBride's Irish Pub in Providence, Rhode Island is somewhat unique. At the point when the chime rings, it's the ideal opportunity for last regards, not last martinis. The bar is contiguous Monaghan Funeral Home, and, since it opened in 2011, Tears and Cheers, a service where the name of the expired is perused so anyone might hear, happens daily at 10 sharp. The eatery was at one time a carport that housed Monaghan's vehicles and hearses, and is claimed by a similar family. Drive through. Americans invest such a great amount of energy in their vehicles that practically any assistance that can be is offered as a drive through choice, from inexpensive food to cupcakes to alcohol. However, Oliver and Eggleston Funeral Establishment in Farmville, Virginia kicks it up a score by offering pass-through memorial services. Wine Cellar A tasteful, wood-framed room, fragrant of calfskin and covered with tables made out of wine barrels, may pass on more extravagant in bar than burial service parlor however Hodges Funeral Home in Naples, Florida, needs to change your view of grieving. Therefore, the proprietors gutted and renovated a current network space to clear a path for a wine basement, and rather than administrations loaded with crying relatives, they empower festivities of life complete with several glasses, or jugs, of wine. Very modern. Most burial service parlors are worked after the Victorian idea of memorial service engineering, with tall, bone white gothic sections, dim rugs, and gold sconces, with not many windows. The funeral home and garden in Pinoso, Spain, couldn't be further from this idea. It would appear that a stylish, mid-century present-day style home with a low, square, profile situated on a slope, total with liberal yards. Most Haunted all burial service parlors are ripe ground for frequenting stories, so to flaunt the title generally spooky, is truly saying something, however Cleveland's House of Wills is a solid competitor for the honor. The structure goes back to 1900, and was named for author John Walter Wills. For the rich and famous Whenever asked what John Lennon, Jackie Onassis, and Philip Seymour Hoffman share practically speaking, other than being celebrated, and late, you may struggle concocting it. Be that as it may, all have had glitterati farewells at a similar burial service parlor, Frankie. Oldest Buck Trout of Williamsburg, Virginia is the most established memorial service home in the United States, opening in 1759, making it 261 years of age. It didn't begin as a memorial service home, carefully, 
however Benjamin Bucktrout and Anthony Hay made wooden coffins and gave internments on their ranch, which, over the long run, progressed into a more proper memorial service parlor. Museum Marietta, Ohio may be the main unassuming community on earth that can guarantee a memorial service parlor slash historical center concoction. Collie and People's Funeral Home slash Mortuary Museum is the brainchild of William Bill Peoples, current proprietor and memorial service chief. The historical center, situated in the previous carport of the memorial service parlor, opened in the mid-2000s as a spot for people's assortment of vintage vehicles, explicitly hearses, and has developed to incorporate entombment articles of clothing, coffins, and antique secrets to success. Standing Funerals In 2008, Angel Luis Pedrito Pantojas Medina passed on. And afterward, he stood, quietly, for three days at his own wake. Such is the claim to fame of the Marin Funeral Home in Puerto Rico, which has promoted standing burial services. While the group of the expired may pick the more conventional course, having the carcass spread out in a coffin, Marin additionally offers to represent the body in scenes that incorporate sitting or standing, and considerably more intricate scenes like playing a card game or driving an emergency vehicle, for a man that was an EMT throughout everyday life.